I've never heard of Mark Holmes. I have no idea who Mark Holmes is. Okay? <laughs> I mean, that's right. Xander just said it. Do you think Mark Holmes, the son of John Holmes, has ever had Stephen Jones on four times on his show? Who in the world is Mark Holmes? Will somebody please tell me? My new way, can't take my hair. And so before we start this video, I gotta get this mother humping thing out of the way. Mark Holmes is my daddy. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I'm going to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Oh my goodness. Um, it's not all bad news today. It's not all bad news. Um, we actually had some good news here at Joe Boo Sports Report. If you go to my YouTube panel... Uh, channel's homepage, you'll now see a check mark right by Mark Holmes. We are now verified. In order to be verified on YouTube, you got to have 100,000 plus subscribers, and we are now officially verified. Thank each and every one of you guys because because of you, we are here. Now, on a day that we saw, uh, the more I think about this, the more it hurts. I got 40 Weiner fans that are emailing me and telling me that we're trash. I got Philly 500 literally laughing at us and so on because Stefan Diggs was traded to the Texans for a second round pick in 2025. To make it worse, they're getting back a pick uh, a fifth round pick in this year's draft and a sixth round pick in next year's draft. Yeah. Are you really going to tell me that we couldn't afford to do that? Well, the Dallas Cowboys that are all in that are all in now have their second signing of the off season. Not somebody who is from outside the building, mind you actually, it's not a second. It's not really, I'm sorry. It's believing in one of our guys. The Cowboys have re-signed offensive lineman, Chimo Igoto. The guy I like to refer to as, don't know what I got for Mr. Roboto. Igota, who was let go by the Jets when they had no offensive lineman. He came to Dallas. He played spot duty. He played better at guard than he did actually at tackle. When Tyron Smith was out and he had to play for tackle for him, he was not real good. He played better actually at guard. He is going to be re-signed. Yeah. That's all I got, guys. That's all I got. Um, that's all I got. We aren't doing diddly poo. Nothing. Nothing. We are doing nothing. The all-in thing is crazy. As you see other teams go through and support their team, support their quarterback, and try and make their team better, um, we're not doing anything. Jerry Jones has lied to us as always. Um I tell you what will be interesting will be is seeing how Josh Allen plays this year. Now, I will say that they evolved their offense 
the last seven games of the season, Stefan Diggs had no touchdown catches and um, only averaged 41 yards a game because they literally moved away from him, um, involved their offense. They realized that we can't have Josh Allen being the mad bomber, um, constantly just throwing the ball down the field because he ended up, you know, giving it away too many times. Turnovers make a difference, as we found out the year before. And um, they're evolving their offense. And they are, you know, their Super Bowl window, maybe it's kind of closed. And they're looking at rebuilding, you know, rebuilding again, of course, around Josh Allen. <clears throat> dumping a lot of their older players because Diggs is not a young man. So, you know, he does have some mileage on him and things. This is more of a short-term type of a player. You know, you look at this year and the following year, and the Cowboys aren't going to make that kind of commitment. It is, let's be clear here, it is also a financial, uh, you know, financial um, commitment as well as draft picks. Although I will say that the Cowboys – typically with their second round picks take chances um, on them trying to get a knockout player, a first round talented person with um, baggage or injuries and so on. And for the most part, second round picks have not worked out for the Cowboys. So um, the hope of course would be is that the Cowboys would trade that pick for a person who would be more of a guarantee, at least in my mind. I hope, if nothing else, that the Cowboys this year don't look at scratch and dent pile. Don't look at guys that have been injured and now medically cleared. People who, you know, sometimes players just get unlucky and they have the injuries over and over again. And, some people just that way. And maybe let's try and say, let's get some people that haven't been injured on a regular basis and bring them in. Let's use those guys. Let's draft a guy who's supposed to be a legitimate second round player. That's in the second round because they deserve to be in the second round. Not because they've fallen because they're smoking weed at the combine. Okay. How about we try that? So, welcome back, Mr. Igato, Chimo Igota. I'm Mark Holmes, and, well, I'm happy that I'm verified. Maybe sometime soon I'll actually get my YouTube play button. So, at least there's that. And I have to say, I have to say I owe that to the Joneses. Because with me literally falling out because we suck so much, that people enjoy watching my misery. And that is a thank you to the Joneses. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, you know how we roll. Peace 